Welcome back to another episode of DIY Golf Car Garage. Today we're going to continue working on our 2010 Club Car President. We've already installed a DD high speed motor. We've installed a high amp solenoid. And today, also from DD, we've got a programmed controller. It's a 600 amp. This was ordered at the same time as the motor, so it's actually programmed to the motor, which is the best way to go. Now, before we get started, Putting this in the car, we have an adapter plate here that we'll be mounting that goes across the little pins that stick out. We'll be replacing this screw with one that's provided, putting this on, tightening it up. Also, we've got to run to the hardware store. This controller is bigger than the OEM because it handles so much more amperage. We've got to purchase our own mounting bolts because we're going to have to determine exactly where we want to mount this in the car. It'd be mounted in the same area, just not in the same holes. So, first of all, let's get this mounted onto this. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is put this plate on, is we're going to remove the screw up here in the top left-hand corner. You'll notice there's a little bit of grease that's already on the pins. We will leave them in place. And starting on the end, we will line up all the pins and press that on. Alrighty. Now what we will do is slide the washer back behind it to take up some of that gap that's there. And tighten it back up. Now, as with everything that is plastic, you want to make sure you get it snug, but not too tight. The last thing we want to do is break this. It's on there good and snug and tight now. Let's go over there and get the old controller off. As you can see, we've got our controller right here. Now what we want to do is go ahead and start unplugging everything. Now that we've got the old controller out and we're getting ready to put the new one in, as you can tell, the new one is about twice the size of the old one. So what we're going to have to do in order to make all the cable connections work is mount this one long ways here. We'll have to leave about a quarter inch gap on the back so this will fit back into the groove so this will fit securely back on the plate it will go over the OBC just a little bit. And because it does, and there's a nut here, we're going to be using oversized nuts as spacers. This will give us a little air gap on the underside to keep this bad boy cool. The first thing I want to do is get it in the general area that I want to mount it and mark where I'm going to put the screws Oh, where I need to drill. Okay, we've got our holes drilled. Now, before we actually mount this, because of how it's gonna be fitting in here and the tightness is we're gonna have, what we need to do first is go ahead and connect at least these large terminals. That's gonna save us a lot of headache from later. We've got the B minus first over here. That's gonna be the black wire. The next one over is the M minus for motor negative. That'll be the white wire. And then over here, the very first one will be the B positive, which is gonna be our yellow and green wire. So let's get these things in here.
Now that I've got the major cables secured, what I want to do now is go ahead, get the bolt that I'm going to be using, put it through. Use my spacer bolt and start mounting it. Okay, now that we've got everything all done, let's go ahead and start connecting wires back up. We've got the run toe switch, which is pink on the top and green across the bottom. Okay, now the orange and blue. Orange goes to the inside because orange was F1. Next is blue. F2. Now for our large connector, that'll go on the top, and you will have the speed sensor one left over. This four pin does not get used, so don't worry about that. One last thing we've got to do, in order to cover the warranty for this, on the solenoid across the two small terminals, we need to put a diode. And your diode will go the stripe to the positive side. Let me go get it and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here's the diode that we're going to be using. You'll notice it has a little silver stripe on one side. That will go towards the positive side. And on this particular model, the light blue wire is our positive, and the Blue wire with a white stripe is the negative. So, okay, now that we got all the wires connected, let's go back, double check our connections, make sure everything's good and tight. Nothing's left unplugged, and nothing has came unplugged while we were working on it. Everything looks good? Okay, it's time to start putting her back together. Well, I hope today's episode is showing you how to exchange your OEM controller for a new upgraded 600 amp controller was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for visiting us here at DIY Golf Car Garage.